Hello everybody and welcome back to Collecting and Hobbies. Today we are going to do another review over figure that uh, I have already reviewed but I lost the, uh, the actual video on my memory card and so I have to redo it. So this is Darth Vader from The Force Awakens. Came out September 4th, 2015 for Force Friday. Um, this is his little Build-A-Weapon accessory. The legs do come off. They all slide off. There's no articulation here. They just pull down and come off. The only articulation is right here. He kind of looks like an Imperial probe droid. Somewhat like a baby one. <laughs> and uh, I think it's kind of... Cool. This goes to the First Order Stormtrooper. You would need three figures to build the entire Build-A-Weapon. You would also need the Ray figure. Um, Starkiller base Ray. The one without the lightsaber. And the regular Jakku. Their staff. And this is what it looks like when you combine it with the, uh, uh, the First Order Stormtrooper. Which is also part of that wave. In the first wave so it's pretty cool and um <clears throat> it comes if you had a uh, ray you would have like this jet sled looking thing in between it probably and some extra handles and it would probably look kind of cool I, I really like this gun though because it looks like a super sucker <laughs> and i like the this this also can actually kind of be like a secondary figure. You can actually use this as like a probe droid. So I've already done the review on this, but I didn't really go into details on this, but it is very well detailed. Um, I mean, it even looks like something that they would actually use. It almost looks like the flame troopers flamethrower. Even has like a, you can, you could probably customize it that way, but. Yeah, this sucker's pretty cool. I like that. Really good gun. Um, I don't think it needs the white on here. Now, Hasbro very rarely paints things. <laughs> I mean, on these <laughs> Build-A-Weapon things. I mean, it does have some paint. It's got some blue paint on all, all across it. And then the red eyes. I like the probe droids. Um, this is pretty cool because it's now if it was more articulated, that would really be awesome. That'd be like really, that'd be two figures in one. Of course, it'd be probably as much as articulated as Vader. Okay, so Darth Vader here has I don't know what this is supposed to be like a angry hand, forest creepy hand. I will choke you to death. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm not sure which Vader this is actually supposed to be. Because he's not in The Force Awakens. And this is an all-new sculpt. As far, no, wait. No, this isn't. This is a repack, actually. This is a repack from, I believe, the... There was also a two-pack of this where there was a uh, Vader and... Bespin Luke, I believe, which is also repacked in the Force Awakens packaging. Now, his head is a swivel head. It's not on a ball joint like the newer figures. This is what they were. They were just like the budget figures. The, uh, it came like two for $10, like at Walmart. And um, when they were originally released in a two pack. I think they were five ninety nine or four ninety nine, something like that. I wasn't actually a collector then. Very reminiscent of the Kylo Ren figure. I mean, he stands up well. He's got perfect balance. It's very well uh, balanced out throughout the whole figure. Not sure where the silver comes from. I guess from his armor. I don't know if that's screen accurate. I guess since it's there, but if it was screen accurate, I would believe that these are supposed to be painted as well. Silver. Not sure which 
movie this is from. I would assume Jedi. No, wait. Um, no, not Jedi. From... Oh, let's see. It looks like he has a light paint on his eyes. Maybe. Or they're just glossy. Yeah. They're something there. Very light coat of paint. I have a reddish brown. And... Because Vader's costume actually changes from movie to movie. If you watch The Return of the Jedi, especially the beginning... These lights don't even light up, the majority of them. And I believe in the first movie, I'm not sure I'd really have to watch it all over again, <laughs> but um, I do know that they change from movie to movie. Um, I'm not sure what movie blue is, because sometimes they paint it green. And these lights are... So if he was from Jedi, I believe that all these lights would be white. He'd have two blinking lights that are white. This would not be painted at all. Um, so this might be from the original Star Wars. Because his shoulder pads aren't painted either. He's got a soft goods cape. But he's got very limited articulation. Just like... All the figures in this line, the basic assortment. This lightsaber is, you know, it's it's even got the cover tech clip. You can even see the little circular thing where it's supposed to. I guess it, I'm not sure if he would like to hang it on his belt. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there because he actually hangs his lightsaber upside down with the blade side up on his belt but he doesn't have that he doesn't have any way to do that um this is just a very simple basic figure he's relatively hard to get to nowadays even then he was kind of hard to get everybody went for darth vader when the new movie came out and but yeah he's just very simple very basic of course, you can sit down real well, but if you didn't have any bendable knees, but you could probably fit in vehicles that you know were, wouldn't require that, especially since he has the uh, soft goods cape, which I'm actually I prefer. I think I think I kind of think I prefer it. I'm not really sure. He does look a little different when it's like that. But kind of like it because it gives it makes it feel more real, it's more realistic. Um, of course, uh, you can't really. This is really incredibly hard for me to do <laughs> the way I'm sitting here. I need a more uh, level angle here. So I switch positions here a little bit. So you can kind of judge for yourself what it would look like. You know, just standing up with the soft goods cape. I think he looks perfectly fine. I know, like, with plastic capes, you can kind of be... They're sculpted to look a certain way. But I think, uh, especially if you're a customizer or something like that, you can... Maybe, I mean, you wouldn't even have... To, to the cape is not removable because his head doesn't pop off as far as I know because it's just a swivel head but if you did have a ball jointed head it would actually be very beneficial simply because you could pop the head off and you could use this cape on any Vader that had a uh, ball jointed head <laughs> that would actually be very beneficial and he's really gripping man that's funny but Overall, you know, I'm not a fan of the uh, this kind of thing, but it does make it easier to stand because he's more balanced out. The sculpt on the head is it's there. It's pretty good. It's 
pretty accurate. It's not bad. It's not bad in any way. Actually, it's pretty good. What the? People always complain about this helmet. Yeah, let's say this is from probably A New Hope. I would have to, I'm just tired in the middle of the night practically, so <laughs> I would have to really look and find out. But, so there's his articulation. Um, the newer Rogue One has a swivel waist and you've got a rubber second half of his cloak or whatever and not a skirt but whatever you call it um yeah so he's pretty good for what he is now if you could find him well you can't nowadays because they don't make him anymore but um for 7.99 is what he retail for actually 6.99 in most places like a walmart um he was pretty good, but yeah, he better as a two pack, two for five, two for ten dollars. But for I mean, he comes with that little other droid, but for seven ninety nine, he's not bad. Not as good as some of them. The super articulated version, uh, the Walmart exclusive Black Series version, and the Force Awakens packaging also is uh, cannot hold a lightsaber. He's got his lightsaber actually rubber banded into his hands, so never take it out if you <laughs> want him to hold a lightsaber, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And he's just a repack of a figure, I think the Vintage Collection or Sokka Legend or I don't know, I didn't collect back then, but he's a repack of another super articulated, the exact same thing from earlier. Maybe a different Black Series version, I think. But, yeah, so... This fader, I would give it a... 7.5. 7.5. Only because of the legs, really. It'd be great if he had bendable. I don't know, he's just a little too simplistic for me. But... If it's the only Vader you can find for less than ten dollars, I would go for it. Just because he's Darth Vader, and he's got the soft goods cape. His helmet's good, he holds a lightsaber, so he's even got that Force grip looking hand. So yeah, I would recommend him. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys in a few days with another review.